Um, so, uh, I have eaten more junk food in the last, it's not even 24 hours, like the last 12 hours, um, than I've eaten in a really long time. Um, yeah, um, so I went to the shop last night, um, because I was really craving chocolate cupcakes. I had been all day, didn't go in the morning because it's coronavirus and I shouldn't just be going to the shop for cupcakes. Um, but by evening time, I really wanted one and, or more than one, and um, all I have left in the house is like healthy food that's been in my meal plan for 10 weeks and I'm just really, really bored of it. Um, and I'm not doing a big shop until Friday evening, so I thought I'd go to the shop and buy some treat foods um, to basically allow me to eat what I want, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, anyway, so I bought some cupcakes, I bought three packets of, you know, those like double steam pudding type things or crumble puddings like the single serve ones bought three packets of those so six puddings um some custard to go with it and then some like deli meat some cheese chips uh from the fr like oven chips and bought those in like years um i i don't use oven food because ever and it's basically because i can't play with it while i'm cooking it so I have to just wait for 20 minutes and I don't like doing that <laughs> and often oven food is more high calorie than other foods so I just haven't eaten those things for a really 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 long time um anyway got home was feeling very like I bought all of this stuff and I've almost deliberately bought so much that I can't consume all of it and I'm gonna have some left and wouldn't it be cool if I took a video tomorrow morning as in now and was like look at this cupcake it's been in my house for the whole like overnight and I haven't eaten it and it's left over and yeah so there were no cupcakes left over I have nothing to show you on camera um I I did like sit down and enjoy, well, no, I ate some of the cupcakes standing up, but I felt like I was enjoying the whole thing and it was a bit less frantic than it, those kind of foods have been in the past. And I definitely wasn't, there was no part of me that was gonna spit any of it back out or that wanted to be sick, um, ish whenever I eat till I'm too full, that shadow is still there. I, st I do still think, oh, it'd be better if I could just go and throw it up. But I don't think I will. Um, anyway, um, the same thing happened that has happened quite a few times recently where I have a sort of, I, have, I give my body what it wants. So I'm having the cupcake, I'm eating it fairly slowly and I had, I was really only eating the icing and leaving most of the base because really cupcake icing is what I'm, what I'm in it for when I buy cupcakes. Um, and I had two lots of the icing um, and about half the sponge and about maybe like one bite of the third and then hit this point where I was like, oh, I'm satisfied. And I saw it and I was like, ah, this is where I meant to stop. This is like the stop point. But I had all of this other food and I just, I just did that same thing again where I see the stop point. I experience the satisfied but not stuffed and just march on past it anyway. But I did, I think I did pause for longer and recognize it for longer than last time. Um, and at, I think just at that point where I march on past it anyway, that's when everything sort of breaks. So I think if I can stop there, then the next time I come to that food, 
I've got a better chance of stopping there. But when I do that once, I think it just sets me up for this kind of everything just being messy and until the food's all gone. So I, I ate far more than I needed after that of all the different foods. There was still lots left over, but um, went to bed really full, woke up in the middle of the night, ate more, ate the remaining cupcakes, ate an apple crumble with custard. Um, there's, it's always when I wake up, I'm just gonna have a little bite and then as soon as I've had something I'm off and then woke up first thing this morning and did do something differently this morning so I agreed with my coach last night that I was gonna put put some space between waking up and eating because I the second I wake up I the first thing I think about is food and literally within 30 seconds of getting out of bed I'm often I have food in my mouth and my body just hasn't had it hasn't had time to tell me what it wants yet um or to register whether or not I'm actually hungry um so I agreed that I'm going to have a shower and have a cup of coffee before I eat breakfast and I did have a shower didn't have a cup of coffee before eating I got I had half a diet coke instead but that's that's okay um but I didn't finish it before I had food and then I kind of just went off on the binge cycle again and here I am with just about all of the um all of the sweet food is gone so it's been less than 12 hours and I've eaten all of that um which is a phenomenal number of calories um, because it's all junk food, I don't feel, I mean, I feel uncomfortably full, but I'm, it, it could be worse. Um, so now I have this kind of, I am a bit down about it. Um, but my usual response would be to lock everything away because clearly I can't control myself. But of course that just reinforces the fact that I can't control myself and the next time I'm around those foods I'll do exactly the same thing again and this whole thing shouldn't really be about me being able to control myself it should be about I'm not gonna eat that because I don't want it because my body doesn't want it so the first two and a half cupcake icings <laughs> until I was satisfied are fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's the rest of it that was a problem because my body didn't really want it. And I was thinking about this because that food is so rewarding. It tastes so good that there's a bit of a problem there because it's like, I'm always gonna want that. You know, if I have a spoonful of that and I'm like, oh, this tastes really good. Then yeah, there's always gonna be a bit of me that wants it. So I'm trying to work out what that I think it's not as simple as I want therefore I can have and that's always right I think maybe the I'll speak to my coach about this later but I think there's just maybe room for a kind of yeah I want but is it a kind of I want that is actually beating my body up a bit rather than giving it something it wants like actually wants um you know I feel like that <sighs> That first bit of cupcake was something my body actually wanted. I hadn't eaten that much during the day and it just wanted calories and it was okay to give it to them. But then the kind of, oh, this tastes good and I'm a bit uncomfortably full, but I'm going to eat anyway because it tastes good and then I'm going to just pay for it later. It just feels like I'm just going boof, boof, boof to my body just because I want, I want, I want. Um, so... Um, I don't know what I do now. Um, I'm doing a big shop on Friday and I know that the foods I crave most are sweet things at the moment. And there's a big part of me that wants to give myself those things because the whole point of what I'm doing at the moment is to have what I want and not feel restricted. And as soon as I go back to saying I can't have sweet things in the house, then I'm restricted and because of coronavirus I can't be popping to the shop every day to buy a sweet treat so I don't don't really know what's best 
Um, and obviously I'm worried that if I buy the sweet stuff, I'll eat them all at once. But there's part of me today that thinks, actually, fuck this. Like, fuck your eating disorder. Fuck you, you know, addiction to sugary food. And it's not a fucking addiction. It's just my body and my brain doing what they're meant to do around sugar when they haven't had them for years. Because the whole thing with sugar is when you have it and then it's taken away, that's when the cravings come in. Um, so there's a bit of me that just wants to go straight to the shop again and buy just as much junk and refill my house full of junk and just go, no, fuck this. It's all there. I'm fine. Or maybe I'm not fine, but it's still just there and I will be fine. Um, oh, quite angry. <laughs> um, so at, at the moment I sort of can't quite bring myself to actually leave the house and go and do that, but I might do that at some point today. Um, or I might not, but I'll let you know what happens. But the one thing I am fucking not doing is locking things away. <laughs>